Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. I am Fiverr Fox Studios and I'd like to welcome you to Mosaic Monday. Today we are going to be learning pattern number 56. And for those of you who are going to be using this as a support tutorial, make sure that you are looking at chart number three, which is design option number two in your chart set. So we're working on chart three's design in this video. So that's the full pattern. And our secondary pattern is more oval-like, and that's shown here on the larger sample, which is actually an apron that I made using this design. I'll show this off in one of the tales from the Tiny House videos, and we'll talk about how I made the apron. For today's tutorial, we are going to be learning this particular design in a multiple of 18 plus 4, and you are going to be using two colors of yarn or as many colors as you would like. Color A this time, that's where we're going to be starting. And color A is going to be the main color of your project. So color A is going to be all this background work. And then color B is going to be the outlines of the actual design. So our primary design is this piece right here with our secondary design being these oval shapes right back here. In the chart set, I have a more rounded version as well with a different variation on the primary design. So all of that is included in the chart set, but you do not need that chart set in order to work this with me today. I'm going to take you all the way through from row one through row 18. In this video, you will learn everything you need to know to make a project using this design. So for those of you who are interested, the chart sets are always linked down in the description box. That takes you to my Etsy shop where you can purchase the chart set. Remember, you don't have to buy it. I also link whatever crochet hook I am using in the description box as well. For those of you who ask for the crochet hook information, you will find that along with other helpful information that you may need to help you finish up your project down there in the description box. I link quite a few videos plus your row start times. As always, I appreciate you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and are subscribed because I do have more videos coming. So we're gonna jump right on into this. So grab your favorite crochet hook and two colors of yarn and let's get started. To begin, we're going to grab color A and we are going to chain in our multiple of 18 over and over until we've made the desired size of our project. And then if we're working flat, we're going to add four chains on to the end of your chain count. If you are going to work this in the round, you are just simply going to chain in the multiple of 18 over and over, and then you will slip stitch to the first chain that you made to form a ring. And then you will begin working the repeats given in that same stitch that we did our slip stitch into. So for us, we're going to work flat in this tutorial. So you're going to get your starting chain ready, multiples of 18, add four to the end, and then meet back up with me for row one. Our repeat for row one will begin now. To begin row one, we are going to skip the first chain from our hook and move here into the second, and we are going to complete a traditional single crochet. So that means we're going into the complete stitch under the V, and then from here, we just grab our yarn, pull up our hook or a loop, and then we single crochet just like normal from there. Now we're going to begin our repeat for row number one. Our repeat's very simple. We are going to work a back loop only single crochet in each stitch except for the very last stitch of the row. So we're going to pick up only one side of the stitch. So this back loop. And then from here, single crochet, just like normal. So you're going to work one back loop only single crochet in all of your stitches and then meet up with me to do the traditional single crochet into the final stitch of the row. We are now here at the end of row one. We've worked one single crochet into each of our stitches, picking up only the back loop. So now we have one stitch left here at the end of the row. So for this stitch, we need to do our traditional single crochet. So we're going to go into that complete stitch under the V and single crochet just like normal from there. 
So now we are going to be clipping our yarn. So we're going to bind off, and this is how you will bind off at the end of every row. You're going to chain up two, one and two, clip your yarn, and now we just pull out our hook, bringing that tail on up through the top of our chain. You're going to cinch this down, so I like to just place my thumb and index right here above the two chains I made, and you're going to pull up on this tail while you slide down with your thumb and index. Do, 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 do. And that forms that little knot here at the end of the row to secure your work. So now we're going to work row number two, and we need to return back to the beginning of our row. So we don't flip our work or turn our work or anything. We just come back here and we identify the very first stitch in the row. We want to make sure that we're not picking up this little side bump. That's our turning chain that we needed in order to start row one. Now we're going to make sure we identify the first V, slip our hook underneath going into the complete stitch. This is how we'll be joining on at the beginning of every row. Go into your complete stitch, grab your next color. So for color, or for row number two, we're actually going to be working in color B. So we're gonna grab color B to add it on. So we're going to take color B, whatever your color B is gonna be, and I just drape it over the hook. I don't do a slip knot or anything. It's completely up to you if you prefer it that way, but I just lay the yarn over my hook, and then I'm gonna draw up that loop through that first stitch. And then I chain one. Now we're going to drop that tail. You can allow it to fall here to the back. And we need to go into the same first stitch and complete our traditional single crochet. So we go back into that stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop. And then we grab and pull through to finish out that traditional single crochet. From here, we're going to begin our repeat for row number two, and that repeat is the same as row one. We're going to work a back loop only single crochet into every stitch except for the very last stitch of the row. For the rest of the tutorial, I'm just going to refer to these as single crochets, and you'll know whenever we're working our repeat, you're always using the back loop only on those single crochets. So we're just going to put a single crochet in every stitch, into the row, you're going to do the last stitch as a traditional single crochet, going into that complete stitch, and then we will meet up for row number three. Row number three begins now, and we are working in color A. So I have already joined on in the first stitch of the row with a traditional single crochet. Now we are going to begin our repeat for row number three. Row three's repeat begins with seven double crochets. So I'm going to show you how all of your double crochets are worked throughout your entire project. So we wrap our yarn like normal and we identify the very next stitch in our row, but we need to slide directly down two rows below and pick up the front loop from row one in this case. So we're gonna go underneath that loop. Now we grab our yarn and pull up a loop. Now we're going to finish out our double crochet just like normal. So we grab and pull through two grab and pull through two. So we are actually laying the stitch over the previous row to cover it up so that we create our shapes. So we have done one of our seven double crochets, so we have six more to go. So we're gonna wrap again, make sure that we identify the very next stitch. If you are not sure, you can always fold back this previous double crochet each double crochet takes up one stitch back here on the previous row, covers it up. So now we see that right here is our next double crochet or next stitch for a double crochet. So we go in again, pick up that little front loop that we left by doing back loop only single crochets. 
We're going to pull up a loop, grab and pull through two, grab and pull through two. So just like normal from there. So you're going to continue on down working your seven double crochets. We've got two. So here's number three. four, number five, six, And number seven. Now we're going to move on with our repeat and work five single crochets. So making sure that we identify the very next stitch, we begin our single crochets, which are worked back loop only. So here's number one. Two. three, four, and number five. Now we're going to end our repeat by working six double crochets. One, Two, three, four, five. And number six. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap it. Row number three's repeat began with seven double crochets, five single crochets, and we end the repeat with six double crochets. I'm going to work this repeat with you one more time for those of you who are new. Otherwise, if you are not new here, you know what to do and meet up with me for row number four. For the rest of us, let's do this repeat one more time together. So when you are working these patterns after you end the repeat, you begin back over at the start. So in this case, to keep working this row, I have just completed the end of the repeat with six double crochets. So now I have to start back over and work seven double crochets five single crochets, six double crochets. So we're going to continue now. So our repeat for row number three begins again with seven double crochets. Here's number one. Two. Three. four, five, six, And number seven. Now we're going to work five single crochets. 
Make sure we're just picking up the back loop only. So there's number one, two, three, four, and number five. And we end our repeat by working six double crochets. Here's number one. Two. Three. Four, five, six. So now we are here at the row end for me, and we have just completed our second repeat of our stitches on the row. So this is what our work is looking like my camera will focus there we go so we have this long stretch where we ended our six double crochets then our repeat begins again with seven double crochets five single crochets six double crochets at the end of every single row you're going to find that you have two stitches left you are going to be restarting your repeat for one stitch and then as we learned in our final stitch of the row we must do our traditional single crochet Again, going under the V completely in that stitch. So for row three, to restart our repeat, it begins with double crochet. So we would be working a double crochet here in the second to last stitch. And then we traditional single crochet here in the very last stitch of the row. And then we can bind off by doing the chain up two, clip in the yarn and cinching that down. So let's take a look at the end of our row. We now have a total of seven double crochets before our uh, traditional single crochet. That's our row end, which now matches with our row start where we began with seven double crochets after our traditional single crochet. So doing that restart of the repeat for one stitch evens out this final design so that it matches with your row start. So now we're going to move on to row number four. Row number four begins now and we are working in color B. Row four's repeat begins with seven single crochets. Again right here, very next stitch. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. Two double crochets right here. Next stitch, there's number one, and number two. One single crochet. Two double crochets, one, 
and number two. Now we'll end the repeat with six single crochets over these next six stitches. Here's one, two, three, four, five and number six so that ends our repeat for row number four so let's recap it row four's repeat began over here with seven single crochets two double crochets one single crochet two double crochets and we end the repeat with six single crochets so you're going to continue working this exact set of stitches on down your row and meet up with me for row number five when you're ready. Remember at the row end, you will have two stitches left. You will restart your repeat for one stitch and then you will traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. Remember your hint on what to do here in this last stitch can be found down here. Whatever we did here, we have to mimic it at the row end. So you will work your row in, meet up with me for row five in just a moment. Row number five begins now and we are working in color A. Row number five's repeat begins with seven double crochets. One. Two, three, four, five. six and number seven five single crochets one two three, four, and five. Six double crochets to end our repeat. So one, two, three, four, five, and Number six, that ends the repeat. Let's recap it. Row number five's repeat began with seven double crochets, five single crochets, and we end with six double crochets. So continue to work that exact set of stitches on down your row, and we will meet up for row number six. Row number six begins now, and we are working in color B. Our repeat for row number six begins with seven single crochets. There's one, two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we will work two double crochets. One, and number two. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One. And number two. And we will end the repeat by working six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and number six. So now let's recap it. Row number six begins, the repeat begins with seven single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, and then we end the repeat with six single crochets. So you're gonna continue that exact set of stitches and meet up with me when you're ready for row number seven. Row seven begins now, and we are working in color A. Row seven's repeat begins with six double crochets. Here is number one. Two. Three, four, five, six. Three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, three, and we end our repeat with five double crochets. One, two, three, 
three. Four. Five. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap it. Row number seven's repeat began with six double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, and we end with five double crochets. So you will continue to work that exact set and meet up with me for our next row. Row eight begins now and we are working in color B. Row number eight's repeat begins with six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, three, two double crochets, one, two, and we will end the repeat with five single crochets. One, two, three, four, And number five. So that ends the repeat. Let's recap it. Row number eight's repeat began with six single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with five single crochets. So you're going to continue to work that exact set of stitches and then meet up with me for row number nine. Row number nine begins now. We are working in color A. Row number nine's repeat begins with three double crochets. Number one. Two, and number three. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and number five. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three, 
five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll end the repeat by doing two double crochets over these next two stitches. One. And number two. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap it. Row number nine's repeat began with three double crochets, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, and then we end the repeat with two double crochets. So you're going to continue to work this exact set and meet up with me for row number 10. Row number 10 begins now and we are working in color B. Row number 10's repeat begins with three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet, five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, one double crochet. five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, And we end the repeat with two single crochets. One, two. So let's recap it. Row number 10's repeat began with three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets. So you're going to continue to work this exact set of stitches on down your row and you're going to notice as you are working that once you start your repeat over again, really all we're doing on down the row is five single crochets, one double crochet. But just follow the exact set if that's confusing to you and you will get the same results. So we'll be back in just a moment for row number 11. Row number 11 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 11's repeat begins with one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and number three. One double crochet. Two, 
one single crochet. Two double crochets. One. Two. Three single crochets. One. Two. Three. Two double crochets. One. Two. One single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets to end our repeat. One, two, and number three. So that ends the repeat. Let's recap it. Row number 11's repeat began with one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, and we end the repeat with three single crochets. So you're gonna to continue to work that exact set of stitches. Meet up with me when you're ready for row number 12. Row number 12 begins now. We are working in color B. Our repeat for row number 12 begins with three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, and we'll end the repeat with two single crochets. One, And number two. So let's recap it. Row number 12's repeat began with three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, and then we end the repeat with two single crochets. So you will continue to work that exact set of stitches and meet up with me for row number 13. Row number 13 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 13's repeat begins with three double crochets. One, 
one. Two. Three. Five single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. And number five. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Five single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. And number five. And we'll end the repeat with two double crochets. One. And number two. So let's recap it. Row number 13's repeat began with three double crochets, five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, and we end the repeat with two double crochets. So you will continue to work that exact set of stitches. Meet up with me when you're ready for row 14. Row 14 begins now and we are working in color B. Row number 14's repeat begins with six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, three, two double crochets, one, two, five single crochets to end our repeat. One, two, three, four, five. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap it. Row number 14's repeat began with six single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, 
and then we end the repeat with five single crochets. So you're going to continue to work that exact set of stitches and meet up with me for row 15 when you're ready. Row 15 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 15's repeat begins with six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And number six. Three single crochets. One. Two. And three. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two. Three. And we'll end the repeat with five double crochets. One, two, three, four. Five. So that ends the repeat. Let's recap it. Row number 15's repeat began with six double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, and we end with five double crochets. So continue to work that exact set of stitches and meet up with me when you're ready for row 16. Row 16 begins now, and we are working in color B. Our repeat for row 16 begins with seven single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, two double crochets. One, two, one single crochet, two double crochets, one. And number two. Six single crochets to end our repeat. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. So let's recap it. Number, or I'm sorry, row 16's repeat begins with seven single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, and we end with six single crochets. So continue to work that exact set and meet up with me for row 17. Row 17 begins now. We are working in color A. Row number 17's repeat begins with seven double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and number five. And we'll end the repeat with six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. and six. So let's recap that repeat. Row number 17's repeat began with seven double crochets, five single crochets, and it ends with six double crochets. So continue to work that set of stitches and meet up with me for row 18, which is our final row. Row 18 begins now and you are working in color B. Row number 18's repeat begins with seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Two double crochets. One, and two. One single crochet, two double crochets, one, two, and we'll end the repeat with six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, 
and six. All right, so that ends our repeat. Let's recap it. Row number 18's repeat began with seven single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, and we end with six single crochets. So you're gonna to continue to work that exact set and meet up with me one final time so we can talk about how you continue to work and finishing out your project. So after you complete row 18, this is what your work will look like. From here, to grow your project, you are gonna rewind back to row three in the same video and you would work rows three through 18 over and over as many times as you would like until you've reached your desired size. To finish out on the final design, or if you were just using one repeat of this design in a project, after you finished your last repeat or only repeat, you're still going to rewind back to row three and work row three as your final row so that you will have your start of your project and the end of your project will match. So you wanna do row three up here to end out the project as your final row. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging in there and watching this entire video. I really do appreciate you taking the time to do so. It helps me out more than you will ever know. As always, truly appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, bye for now.